Hello everybody, my name is Kedemo, welcome back for another video of Total War 3 Kingdoms 8 Princes the DLC. We're going to continue this series, uh, obviously, we're having a lot of fun playing this game right now. Uh, it's going to be really, really fun, so let's continue playing this game. Um, on the last episode, it basically became a real problem when I uh, decided to have two vassals. Uh, vassalized, both I'm going to show you guys really quick with the uh, diplomacy thing. I vassalized this guy, which is my brother, one of my brothers. I vassalized him. He is right here. And I vassalized uh, a guy right here, but I basically annexed him right away. And I vassalized these guys as well. So I've got uh, two vassals now remaining. I had three, but I have two since I annexed one of them. And that made it uh, so that uh, everybody that was at war with the... Uh, my vassal uh, vassals I was uh, forced to be at war with them as well but that put me as untrustworthy and everything that's not good at all but it is what it is I'm gonna go ahead and say that what I want right now is I want to make peace I, I made peace with everyone here I don't want to be at war I want to build that tension down I was really like a good one I was I, I, but then I started to annex and get all this and now I'm untrustworthy so it broke everything I was working with I'm gonna work march south march north or west whatever here with two or three armies that I've got out of four and we'll see how it goes guys I'm gonna activate my mods real quick my mods are activated we should be fine let's go uh, first things first we need to skip a turn so that's the first thing we need to do is skip, just simply skip a turn because we don't have anything else left to do in this turn in particular. Uh, yeah, so I'm basically gonna, every new year, I'm gonna, um, oh my god, they're attacking me. What the hell is this? See my eye? Oh, they're attacking my, um, I was counting on that. Okay, yeah. There's no way we can defend ourselves here. We can probably try, but no, with 53 soldiers, what am I supposed to do, guys? We've got only one archer. They're already pretty much defeated here. Yeah, let's just delegate the battle here. We just, we just lost a territory, but that's fine. I was counting on them to attack me anyways, since right now um, I don't have anything defending my borders against them, you know? Uh, I, I gotta move my armies first over there, so... We'll have to do that, I guess. It's our f the first time we actually lose a territory, which it's pretty interesting when you think about it. It really is. You would not need fear. All right, they want payment. They want to pay me for a non-aggression pack. Let me see who these guys are real quick. They're over there. Um, I can't do anything. I can't. Oh, I can't trade the territory. Really? I can. So they can give me some territories for some reason, even though I'm not. I'm not close to them. I don't think so. At least maybe I am. I'm not sure. Anyways, let's just get that then. Let's just get that thing. I'm not going to vassalize anybody else at this point uh, because there's no point. I can't do it anyways. So that, yeah, I guess. Uh, Give me your territory, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll be fine with that. So give me money, give me a territory in exchange. Well, basically got a non-aggression power with that guy. Yuang Zi. Okay, this guy's gonna do... Oh, uh, yeah. We have a little bit more people here, but we got nothing defending these cities, guys. Uh, we're gonna lose these, uh, obviously. So, delegate. I don't want to do stupid battles like that. That would be a waste, so... Guess we're gonna have to lose all these. That's two city or two place, two places in the same region that we are losing right now, which really not good. Really not good. Here's hoping that we're gonna uh, do better here. I gotta tell you right now, that turn, that one turn I just did took forever to skip, like to forever to uh, get by. Like it's ridiculous. Or we just lost two re uh, two places in one region. Gotta figure it out where he is exactly. I think it's yeah, it's right here probably. We lost these two. Okay, made peace. They all made peace. Whatever. 
Yeah, I lost two territories. Whatever. I'm gonna take them back real quick. Okay, that's uh, your power increases. Imperial Prince. All right, I just became an Imperial Prince while also losing two territories. Ultimate power is within sight. Whether it is, it, it be as a shepherd of the emperor or as emperor in your own right. Push onwards and secure a fresh foundation for the gen. Okay, good. Defense post. Okay, so all this is good and all. But now we gotta. Yeah, we lost these two regions right here. We actually lost the city now. I think about it. Maybe. Or or no, we lost the farmland and we lost this. They already had the city, so. We lost this and this. We gotta be careful. They're gonna take the last place here. So we gotta move out our city, uh, our armies, or two, at least two or three armies right away. We gotta move them out. But first, I gotta finish the south here. I gotta finish the south, guys. That's the first thing I gotta do. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the south really quick here. Just move out here. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my king's army right away. Against this guy right here. We got to finish out this faction right here. We got to finish them out because we got to move on the west. They're already starting to uh, take all my territories on the west. Alright, let's delegate this. Let's go, guys. Delegate this shit right away. There we go. So we're going to occupy this. Faction destroyed. Alright, we destroyed their faction. That was the last of them. We got their town. Now we got to move out uh, next. I'm going to move out this army that's going to take care of these guys. And my king's army is going to take care of the deserted islands. Then it's going to move out there. Man, we've got so much to do, guys. So much. Level 4-3. Uh, okay, so we can upgrade this town. We're going to do it. Upgrade the town really quick. Yuzang, I'm going to guess. Upgrade, uh, upgrade this. Tonghang, I'm going to upgrade this right here. Into this. There we go. All right, um, my two other armies, where are they at? I'm gonna upgrade this real quick, level four. Let's just, I guess, take this one. There we go. So my two new armies, we've got one that's not completed. They're not completed just yet, so they still need to be built up. I guess we're just gonna have to wait, and uh, if we lose cities, we lose cities. That's, it is what it is. But as for right now, as it is right now, we can't do anything. I'm not uh, fully prepared yet. I don't have the resources or whatever. I don't have enough to heal myself up or, uh, in the right way. So just get that, I guess. Wujang, uh, I can't... Man, there's a lot I've got to do, man. There's a lot of upgrades. At this point, I'm a huge empire. So it's only normal I've got to upgrade a lot of stuff. But good God. All right. Anything else? Like... I can't figure out what's those things. Army in control. Oh, that's the two armies I can't move right now because they're not fully healed up. This guy, I guess I can upgrade my town. And what about you? I can upgrade this. Okay, good. So all the things are done. New reform. Let's check it out. I guess we should probably go for this. Maybe. I'm not sure. There's only so many few uh, reforms left. We've got three new locations that we gotta uh, we can take. Uh, who's this guy? Champion. So we just got a champion right here. Really, spouse, huh? Hold on now. Oh, that's because they're my vassal. So all of them are my vassal. So they all are. They are all. So they are all part of my faction now. That's that's really cool. All right. Well, we gotta. We got a champion right here, which I'm gonna put him as uh, a grand director, or maybe, maybe I should put him right here. No, zero, zero satisfaction. Nah, it doesn't get any satisfaction. I I'll put him as a grand director, I guess. And what about him? He's a level five. There we go, grand tutor, and uh, he. I guess he can be there. There we go. We've got a fifth administrator. Where should I bring him, guys? I'm thinking we should probably bring him here. Since it says it, we should bring him here. So, yeah, it's a new territory anyways. Yeah, we got, we're full up. We're filled up right now. Victorious Prince. We're almost there. We're, the half, we're a half for Victorious Prince. So, we're moving there. 
All right, one more soldiers. We do have, actually, my king. Yeah. Here's the thing. There's a town that's not taken here, so I'm guessing my my uh, warrior here is gonna have to. My army here is gonna have to take this one, this town, abandoned town, and my uh, my king's army is gonna have to move, march back and get this army right here. I guess. Alrighty then. I kind of want to build an army. Now that I've got more soldiers, I could probably build an army right away, guys. Uh, what's my... I guess I, I'm going to go here because this is the most dangerous area. I'm going to raise an army right away here with my champion. He's got a lot of units. We're going to get... I guess we could get um, this guy. There we go. And we're going to get this guy as well so a brand new army all over here in the, this place you're all gonna get some brand new stuff let me see really quick we need two catapults obviously like always we've got okay so these these guys are kind of trash hold on so that's three three melee units so one two three four five six seven eight eight melee units Okay, four, six, yeah, eight melee units. Uh, only one range unit. Um, I'm gonna say this guy is gonna be good for the melees. So one of them is gonna have to get. Uh, okay, we're gonna get rid of that. One too many here. One too many. Uh, I'm just gonna disband everything. There we go, disband our units and everything. Army report. Do we have any um, anything we can give him? Oh, he's already like really good. He's he's a champion, obviously, so he's really good. So he's going to defend us until, or he's going to take care of all this nonsense until our king's army, uh, our armies right here are filling up and uh, doing their thing. So in the next turn, it's going to be a summer, guys. So. Or spring, whatever. It's going to be the new year uh, in the next turn. So we're going to start annexing uh, another country and stuff. And maybe uh, gaining some territories from the Gen Empire and all of this. So we're going to start annexing some territories in the next turn. Which is going to be helping us out a little bit more. In our ventures to become an empire. Alright, let's go. We're in the next turn again. Uh, military alliances are being formed right now, which is kind of scary. I don't want them to be against me. I hope not. Uh, Imperial orders uh, with its authority. So as power and legitimate girls, loyalty, uh, loyalty grows with it. Warriors and citizens work harder and more efficiently for a leader to respect. A new year begins, a new opportunity to steer your people towards their destiny, of course. New dynasty, man or money. There is always a choice to be made if one is to achieve greatness. Before you lie, two options. Um, before you lie, two options. Okay, so build an army that will be the terror of the known, known world. Or a mass of fortune so vast that your land will be the envy of the realm. Uh, this mission will stretch. We have stretching goals with powerful permanent effects. Raise an army or secure income. I'm going to... Secure my income right here. There I go. It is well that we enable our true final victory. Obviously. So we're going for wealth here. At the end of your turn, have an income of at least... That's easy. Easy. I already have it. Easy because I've got the mod. Golden Age. All right. That's done. That Already done. See? There I go. Right, let's move out. And start moving out with this guy already. We're going to take this. Uh, we're going to do what I said I was going to do. Just take this town right here, really quick. This uh, all the uh, anything that's abandoned belongs to us, man. Absolutely belongs to us. Let's go. Move out. Taking this town right here, guys. Yulin. We're finally gonna have this entire region right here too, which is really good. Um, I guess this over here we got five, so I'm gonna get up to level four. This thing. Yulin, the town. We can. We have to upgrade the town. It's falling behind right here. Um, I guess I can upgrade the hen a little bit. Okay. Anything else? 
but not right now where we are. I guess there's this right here. Level 2. There we go. My king's army. Okay, before I march him out, I want to take care of all these uh, cities. Because this is going to be a big... Uh, this is uh, going to be one of those big fights, guys, that we're going to have to do. So, before I do that, I need to be careful. Let's go. I'm going to start with this guy. We're going to have two simul simultaneous attacks at once. Which is really good. I'm losing support right here. Uh, restrictive support and everything. I don't know why I'm losing so much. So quick. But uh, it is what it is, I guess. Let's move out, guys. With this army. This army is going to destroy these fools. Really quick. Let's go. Let's, uh, let's destroy these fools. We're going to march here. There we go. And uh, take this little bitch right here. We're going to take care of him. There we go. And there it is. There's a battle. All the way from there to here. They are pretty uh, messed up already. They're, they're not fully healed up. Uh, it's a close victory. We're going to do this battle, guys. Obviously, we're going to do all the a lot of battles right now. We're going to do... Um, the men surrender first. They did not surrender. All right, that's fine. We're going to starve out for now because I want to wait before doing the battles and everything. I do want to wait. We need. We have a couple of armies that uh, uh, still need to take it, be taken care of. So the same thing for you, I guess. You move out to the, the south. There go. Move out into the south right here. Let's go. Move out right here. We're moving out into the areas. All right, so this guy, this is a big fight. I could probably ensure my victory here by just participating into, the, into that battle. I refuse. Uh, maybe I could, right? Maybe I should. I should probably do that. Just, uh, I guess, march, march right here and we're gonna secure this place. What if I attack right now? My army? My, my army, oh my god, what is this? Come on, get rid of this. Get rid of the diplomacy thing. There we go. Okay, this army. Yeah. What if I attack right now? What happens? Um, do I have the support? Yes, decisive victory. All right, good. Well, you know what? Decisive victory. We don't need to do this battle anymore. Delegate. I don't want to do every battle. I don't want. I want to do uh, one battle per video at least. So we got a lot of big battles to do. We lost 300 soldiers, but that's okay. We're going to execute him. Occupy this place. We got it back. It's under our control once again. Now this guy needs to stay in here because he, he can't move anymore. But this girl can still move. This Her army can still move. So that was a smart move right here from us. Um, we can't have or we can't uh, give them anything. So we're just going to give him some authority here. And how, what about her? Yes, her, sir. she's gonna get some, I guess, instinct. Yeah, get some instinct. All right, you're gonna attack this city right here, the small city. There we go. Take, uh, attack this small city. Decisive victory, but uh, medium casualties. It says decisive victory, they say. I'm just gonna delegate it. I don't know. I don't want to do um, sieges. So we lost 300... Uh, Almost 400 soldiers, but that's okay. It would be prudent We're going to rebuild ourselves. So that faction is destroyed. One faction and less to take care of. Now we're now we got we got three armies. Now we're marching big time onto them. I don't know what's coming for them. Oh, we got a new administrator that we can pick. I guess this guy. It's she's a spouse. She's kind of important. So I'm gonna pick her up right here. What is this place? We already have something for uh, for this place. I should get um, for this area right here. For Zhangjiang or whatever. There we go. Take for this place. She's going to be there. My my son is uh, six years old, guys. So he's getting there in terms of age. That's really good. He's almost getting there. That's really good. Okay. Uh, new bonuses. Oh, it's this girl. We need to... Uh, yeah. We can't have civil war here. Let's just make her happy, I guess. Uh... I guess we're going to give her some resolve. She kind of needs it a little bit. What about uh, anybody else that's unhappy? K 
kind of, but they're going to be fine. All right, Jin Empire. I'm going to take a lot of territories from you right here. Um, farmland from you right there. Also, right here, you're going to give me your town. And right here, you're going to give me your town and your lumber yard. Boom. And boom. There we go. Annexing some territories here. Gaining some support. Really good. So, over here we just gained a new territory. I started lag a lot because I've got so many territories and stuff. So many stuff uh, going on. Okay, so this guy, I just gained a new army. Or is it that, oh, that's my army. Oh yeah, that's my infamous, infamous army that um, I had as bonus. Oh, it's telling me where all my armies are now. That's really good. Okay. Yeah, well, I've got this army, right? I could have used it. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm going to keep him on the nor north, though. I do need an army, at least one army on the north, you know? So, I ha already had an army out there. I'm stupid. What about, uh, oh, yeah. Let's upgrade this. And this thing right here, upgrade it as well. All right, good. So That's done. We've got all these territories, guys. Look at this. So all this new stuff right here that we just gained from them. Um, so continuing to grow. Look at our empire. It's much bigger than the Jin Empire. That's for sure. Good lord. It's, uh, it's a monster. Alright, let's go. Start attacking, guys. Move out. Move out into this uh, region right here. We're going to take care... Of their last army, their last capital. Take care of them once and for all. Right. Battle. High casualties for both of us. Apparently it's a valiant defeat for us. It's a siege thing. The men surrender. Alright, so it's just a siege. Oh, god damn. I don't want to do sieges. I don't like sieges. That's not good. That is not good at all, guys. If I gotta do a siege and everything. Damn. Alright, well, you know what? I don't like it. It's gonna have to be what it is. It is what it is, I guess. I don't like that, though. Alright, I think I'm just gonna have to... I'm gonna have to get some build siege and stuff. I'm gonna have to build some... There we go, some tunnel and stuff. Continue siege. No Gonna have to siege them. Because I can't just out outright attack them. I gotta let them attack me. Get out, let them uh, get out of their walls if they want to. Uh, I can't... Uh, I just... I can't do a siege unit right now. I'm not good at these types of things. So, Alright, Simo Way. Time for you. Or uh, You're right here, right? Yes, time for you to... Uh, actually, I'm going to keep you as it is right now, I guess. Or, see, I'm not even close to them yet. Yeah, I'm not really close to them. The Jin Empire, I need to take care of, yeah. Before I annex these people, I need to t to get this, uh, what they have right here. This little uh, thing right here, all of this. I need to get that. I need to at least be on par with these territories. Uh, yeah, we're going to just, uh, it is what it is. We're just going to stick it uh, like it is. We're going to skip, uh, skip a turn here. Okay, so they decided to not attack us just yet. They they want to keep uh, keep it as it is, I guess. Uh, Long-term coordination. So an army that sets off into, uh, will suffer. Okay, so new, uh, interesting. A spreading illness. Diseases as spread. Amongst the men, uh, even now your forces fister with, uh, with a lingering illness. It would be possible, however, to turn this into our advantage, sending this uh, pestilential bandage and blankets over the enemy walls, infecting the enemy as well. Infect the enemy, enemy forces. Sure. Yeah, infect the enemy. Yeah. Well, if I do that. I don't know, guys. All right, let's infect the enemy. There it goes. Spre spreading illness. We're going to infect the enemy right here. So my army right here, my king's army, 
They um, they have illness, but we're gonna infect these uh, these guys as well, and we're not losing anything right now. They're losing health because they're being sieged up, so they can wait all the time they want. They're eventually gonna have to uh, come up with the solution of uh, retreating or whatever. Move out this army right here. Just move it out and have two armies completely sieging it out. And uh, they would not like that, I guarantee you. That's for sure they wouldn't like that. Alright, let's see. Let's see now if I attack. If I attack with my uh, king's army. Oh, decisive victory now. See? I've got a lot of army. I'm going to continue the siege though. Uh, I'm going to keep my two armies here. That would be a decisive victory. I'm not sure if I want to do it just yet. Um... I want to use my armies for other stuff than uh, this goddamn one single town that's left, you know. But uh, we gotta play it careful here. We gotta we gotta stay careful. No, don't do that. I want uh, the other one. There we go. Noble support. That's what I want. All right, this girl, uh, this uh, this place here needs um, an area to be uh, good. So I'm just I'm gonna get some more reformation here. And uh, I guess we could upgrade uh, the. There we go, the encampment. What do you wish, my okay, lord? these three units are good. What I need to do is move them up. I've got a new excedentary military gr great axe. Can I, I give that to one of them? Maybe. No, it's one that needs an axe or something. Yeah, I need, uh, needs to be someone that has an axe. Maybe one of them. My lord. Do you have an axe? No, well. he doesn't. Alright, we'll figure it out another time, guys. Can move out this guy. He's fully uh, done. Alright, his army's complete. So, On we can move line. him up now. We're going to attack the farmland with this guy. Decisive victory. We're going to go ahead and get that thing done decisive victory medium casualties that's fine 200 soldiers uh or 300 soldiers died we're gonna kill that guy execute him occupy this place we got it back under our control that's really good we're marching now once again now we're starting to gain territory instincts we're gonna pick that back up all right so i'm thinking this girl She's not fully healed up, so I'm going to wait for her to be fully healed up. Um, this guy's good, though. So we can definitely move him out. Let's go. Start moving him out. And he's going to attack this place right here. He's going to attack the salt mine because this is where the army is. Three. Pyrrhic victory, really. Oh my god, they've got a lot of armies. Look at that strong army they've got. That's kind of a battle I want to do, really. I want, it, this is the kind of battle I want to do. Oh, they surrendered. They outright surrendered, guys. Yeah, that's that's kind of crazy. They, we didn't even have to fight them. They just surrendered. That's That doesn't happen too often, but... Uh, looks like the armies decide to say, Fuck it, we're not fighting this battle. Alright then. Settlement administration. Forge an alliance with the following faction. Chao Han. So they want me to have an alliance with this guy. Uh, Jinting on any uh, assignment. Okay. Construct a building. So we got to construct three different buildings. And get an alliance as well. Okay. Reduce corruption. And increase research rates and trade influence. Okay. Okay. All right. I get it. But we're in low reformation, big time, so which means we basically have a lot of corruption going on right now. So the Jin Empire, it calls itself an empire. It's not really an empire anymore. It's pretty weak compared to us. We're, I'd say we are the empire right now, so we're doing really good. Attitude, diplomatic status, there we go. So we're doing all right. I guess we're going to end it right here, right? I'm going to end it right here. On the next video, we're going to do a big time battle um, for the sieging city of small uh, of Hepu. We're going to wait for them, I guess, to attack us first. There's no point in attacking fortified place, right? There's, 
literally no point that would be a waste of time uh, we took some places here and there she's not ready to move I should probably move her anyways right no nah, no nah, she's not ready they could die here I want I don't want them I don't want them to die or anything so I'll, I'll be careful remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video I'm gonna see you guys for the next one keep it easy